The Yale War Memorial is a beautiful, aesthetic act of denial and forgetting. What Yale decides to do between 1909 and 1915 is create a war memorial dedicated to the Yale men who died in the service in the war. There are 114 names who served in the Union forces and 55 names that served in the Confederacy. They are listed simply with their name, their unit of service, and where they died with the date. Theodore Winthrop's name is on this memorial. He was the first Yale student who went to war, who died in the war. He died right in the first summer of 1861. There's another name on that memorial of Uriah Parmalee, who grew up here in Connecticut. He was a junior at Yale, spring of 1861. He enlisted in the Army. He became a cavalry officer eventually. He survived all four years of the war. He kept an extraordinary diary and wrote lots of letters home. He had deep abolitionist sentiments. He believed this war from day one should be fought to destroy slavery. His views on race are complicated like any other 19th century white male, but he was with his cavalry unit in March and April in Virginia of 1865. He will be at the Battle of Five Forks, the last major engagement of the war on April 1st, 1865, right after the fall of Richmond. He was hit by a cannonball in his chest and killed. He served all four years, down to eight days before the surrender at Appomattox. And his story, or at least his name, is on that memorial. He's a remarkable story of some Union soldiers who actually went to war over the issue of slavery. African Americans are nowhere represented and in no way represented on the Yale War Memorial. There are all sorts of stories about blacks in New Haven, an extraordinary regiment that was formed here in New Haven called the 29th Connecticut, a black regiment that could have been part of this story at that time, but it wasn't because of the principal aim and design of the memorial for reconciliation. The reason Americans have needed to forget the deeper causes of the Civil War is because slavery does not fit a pleasant, pleasing, progressive narrative of American history where Americans tend always to solve their problems. We didn't solve the problem of slavery except with over 700,000 dead. Yale chose to fold Union and Confederate Yale men all together in a statement that said the war was about nothing except manly sacrifice and human valor and national unity. By saying that, they were saying that the great upheaval of the 19th century, which they finally were commemorating, which was all about slavery, emancipation, and its aftermath must not be faced, must not be narrated, must not be told. We are determined now to reinterpret that memorial.